President Trump's most dedicated supporters have not lost faith. That was crystal clear over the weekend in Florida, where he held his first uh, campaign rally since taking office. And there to greet him, thousands of people who waited for hours and hours in line to hear the man they elected as president. And one of those supporters is good enough to be with me now. She is Tamara Musler. Uh, Tamara, nice to have you on. Thank you for having me. So you had thousands of people on Saturday. You just saw the pictures from these. He's not my president rally across the country. Uh, you know, I imagine you're pretty passionate about politics. You want to, you know, talk to me on national TV here. What do you make of what's happening in the country right now? I just find it extremely sad that we're this divided and we can't come together and uh, unite behind a president. You know, we had eight years with a President Obama. And now it's President Trump's turn. And it would be nice if we could at least give him a shot. He's only been there just over a month now. You know, it, it, we talk about the divide in the country. And I understand even like some of the women in your family aren't all on the same page. And by the way, I think you are not alone. I think a lot of even families right now are, are divided. And you were also a little nervous to sort of say out loud, I'm going to the Trump rally on Saturday. Tell me why. Because people are so angry and so vehemently against President Trump, and there's no reason for it. He hasn't been doing anything too outlandish or anything like that. So I, I just feel like we need to give him a little time, step back, take a breath, and see what he can do. He spoke to the American people. He spoke, spoke to the, uh, the working class people, and uh, they believed him, and he's given them hope and restored their dreams. You said he hasn't done anything too outland <clears throat> outlandish. I mean, I have to just push back and say between, you know, not saying any, uh, a bad word about Vladimir Putin to even his comments at that rally about, you know, crime or an attack in Sweden that never happened to even his, you know, last week, um, you know, citing his electoral win, the biggest since President Reagan, which isn't true. I just have to ask, Tamara, has your trust in this man ever wavered? No, it really hasn't. Uh, he's not a politician. He's not polished. He doesn't know all the ins and outs, the way to speak and loopholes. And uh, he says what's on his mind. And unfortunately, sometimes he may misquote a fact here or there or say something out of order. And uh, I just I think uh, that's him not being a trained politician. And let that's probably have, why most people voted have... for him. Absolutely. I think you're hitting the nail on the head why a lot of people uh, who are Trump supporters are Trump supporters. I want you in just this last question, speak to these people who we're seeing in these protests around the country today saying he's not my president. What is the biggest misconception among those folks for someone like you? Well, when I saw him in person at the rally, the way he he reached out to the people and and you just you felt like he genuinely cared about you and who you were. And uh, he and his family just they it's I don't I don't know how to describe it. It's just an unbelievable feeling that he actually you feel like he's talking to you one on one. And if you ran into him, you feel like he'd give you a hug and, and say they're there and he's willing to stick his neck out to help you. Tamara Musler, so important to hear uh, from voices such as yours. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Next, uh, keep 